Today, we're going to talk about sulfur dioxide levels in wine. It's a very important thing to understand, and all good winemakers want to know the free and the total sulfur dioxide in wine. This has been done for many years with a traditional technique uh, known as the aspiration oxidation method, or the Rankin technique, and we've got one of those going here today. This is a reliable technique, but it is a bit arduous. Uh, it is laborious to do, uh, but it has been used for a long time. Uh, it has some disadvantages. For example, you've got to use quite dangerous chemicals, such as concentrated phosphoric acid. Uh, the glassware, if you break it, is quite expensive to replace. Uh, but it's used widely. However, we've worked hard for the last couple of years uh, with our R&D team to come up with a better way of doing this, and we'd like to talk, talk to you about that today as well. There is another way to measure sulphur dioxide, and we've developed test kits for measuring both free and total sulphur dioxide. Uh, we'll show you how these work, um, but basically if you've got your own spectrophotometer, it's just like using any other test kit. If you haven't got a spectrophotometer, which are nowadays very inexpensive, all you need to do is to be able to uh, measure out the volume of the solutions into a cuvette, place the cuvette into the spectrophotometer, take two readings, and then calculate the result. It's as easy as that. Uh, so there's no more dangerous chemicals, uh, no more expensive glassware, uh, and if you're already set up with a spectrophotometer, there's absolutely no other equipment you need to use. So now there's new test kits for measuring free and total sulfur dioxide. Instead of doing this by aspiration oxidation, isn't it time you started doing it this way with test kits?